This lesson aims to help you maximize your practice time by using what I'm going to refer to as compound guitar exercises. Now these are exercises that target multiple areas of your playing at the same time and therefore it enables you to get more work done in less time so to speak. Let's start with today's example which sounds something like this. <laughs> So this exercise is what I'm going to refer to as the melodic minor picking drill and it addresses various aspects of your playing by the fact that we've chosen this particular melodic minor shape. Now the first thing to note about this one is that this melodic minor shape, which you'll see in the tab attached to this lesson, addresses every three note per string fingering in a single shape. So if we take it from fret number seven, we're playing C melodic minor, more applications on that in a moment. If we take it from fret number seven, we have fret seven, eight, and 10, which gives us a close position one, two, four. We have fret uh, six, eight, and 10, which gives you a stretch one, two, four. That follows up with seven, nine and 10, which gives you a one, three, four, which are all the key positions. We then have one, two and four. We could even extend this to a stretch one, three, four. And then if you wanted to, you could do a stretch one, two, three, or a one, three, four position again. So it gives you exercise on every fingering shape that you're likely to come across in the three note per string paradigm. Now, the other thing about this one, which is quite cool, is that it exposes you to the sound of the melodic minor. Now, one of the issues that guitar players tend to have when learning the melodic minor scale is the fact that it's just not something we hear as often as say the major scale or pentatonic scales or even the harmonic minor, but it's a great scale. It's a very, very important scale to have in your repertoire. And it's also uh, exposure to a bunch of other sounds depending upon how you practice this. If you took the same scale shape and you practiced it over an F dominant chord, like this dominant 9 here, it would give you exposure to a Lydian dominant sound. And by contrast, if you played it over this B7 altered chord, it would give you exposure to a super Locrian sound. Now, I'm not gonna go too far into this today, but I'm gonna encourage you to maybe dig out a looper pedal or perhaps just record yourself playing some chords and practicing this drill over the top because the really important thing we're doing with this one is drilling our alternate picking. And the interesting thing about this particular exercise is that it drills the most complicated part of alternate picking, which is string crossing at speed, but it addresses every possible string cross, which is escape with a downstroke in this direction and in this direction, and escape with an upstroke in this direction and in this direction. And the way we achieve this is beginning the exercise with a single repetition of a low middle high on the low E string like this. And then doubling up every other string. So it's gonna go low, middle, high, low, middle, high, like this. Now this is gonna give you a downstroke escape all the way through the scale from bottom to top. So if we get this, if we play. So as you can see, I finished the string on the downstroke and this means I have to start the next string on the upstroke and it's gonna continue escaping on downstrokes all the way to the top of the scale like this. And then at the top of the bar, we're gonna do the same thing again, where we begin with a single repetition on the high string and then double repetitions all the rest of the way, which is gonna give us this. We're greeting every new string with an upstroke, which means downstrokes escape. However, we're then gonna turn things around and we're gonna start doubling up the first string in each bar. So in this case, we're gonna double up the low string, which gives us this. And here you'll notice that I finished on an upstroke, which means I have to greet the next string with a downstroke. We'll continue that all the way from bottom to top.
And then at the top of the bar, we do the same thing. We double up our high string and carry on all the way to the bottom. <laughs> 